Hi guys, today I want to share you a quick tips about how to filter a lookup uh, type field. Okay, uh, so firstly, let's look at, uh, let's have a look at what it looks like uh, finally. So in this form, I want filter this lookup uh, look field, requesting warehouse. So based on this field's value. So if I choose yes, so you can see there's only one option available. So if I choose no, so you can see a bunch of uh, options here. So okay, now let's look at how to do this. I just you uh, I just realized this uh, function through the uh, uh, the JavaScript. So there are two functions. The first function I will re register. I will register this function to uh, to the uh, uh, to this to this field to this field. Just request my field uh, on change event, and also it will be triggered uh, on load event of this form. Okay, let's focus on this uh, script. So uh, firstly, we just uh, uh, get control and add pre search. I just register this callback function here. It's filter warehouse. So in this uh, in this callback function, uh, filter warehouse. So we just firstly uh, we get the uh, uh, the request by fire uh, fields value because you know we need to determine uh, the filter uh, based on this fields value, right? So if this that if, if is this field value equals zero, uh, that means no, right? If you choose no, so we we uh, set the filter here. If yes, we set another uh, filter here. And then finally, we just uh, uh, add custom filter uh, to this uh, to this entity. This is the entity logic name, and this is uh, uh, the field. Uh, logic name. Okay, uh, I will put this script uh, and uh, in this in the description of my video, uh, just for reference. Yeah, and uh, um, yeah, that's it. Uh, so uh, just uh, finally, just to let you know how to re uh, where I what I re register this function. Okay, this is on load, on load. Okay, uh, just uh, I have put uh, this. Uh, no, this quite. I just uh, uh, register here on change here, and also this function will be be uh, be called in uh, on load function. Yeah, that's it. Next, I will share you the second way to filter a lookup type field value. So in the first way, I used uh, the uh, the API is add pre search and uh, add custom filter, the two APIs. But in now in the second way, I will use only one API, much simpler than the first way. I just use set default view and followed by the view GUID. So the, uh, the, next, the next step is how to get the GUID of the view. So we can go to the uh, the interface and uh, we just open go to the view and uh, we can get the view id that is good view guid from the url copy this part and paste into this api so that's it uh the uh, registration way is same with the the first way so yeah just for reference yeah, thank you